Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible and today we're gonna to talk about how to connect high level to a calendar in 2025. Let's dive in. Okay, so if you found this video, you're probably a member of high level. You probably, it's consistently innovating and getting better at adding new features. The problem is that things change, integrations change, and the way that high level um, does stuff might be different now than what it was just two weeks ago, okay? Recently, we found out that there was a change in the way that you uh, link the calendar to high level. We've always tried to keep you guys up to date, which is why we put a video together. So without further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to Graham, and he's gonna take you on a little tutorial on how to do this fast and easily and without any hassle at all. Over to you, Graham. Hey guys, um, and welcome to the video on how to connect your calendar up to high level. And I've done a, a big change recently in how you do this, so it's changed. So there's a lot of people not, not sure how to do this. Um, and this is basically just how to connect your, like, you know, your Outlook, your Gmail, um, to your high level calendar. Oh, so we're gonna do uh, the Google Calendar today. Um, so you just wanna go to settings, to integrations, you want to double check and make sure you've linked your Google account. Um, and that's very simple to do. If, if you haven't connected it, just connect it up. And then on your Google Calendar, you're going to want to go and cl uh, click Take Me There. Okay, so now what, what it's going to do, it's going to go to the calendar settings and connections. And this is where you now connect it up. Now, uh, you've got to make sure there's a team member in there. So when this just loads up. Cool. So now we want to go to our agency settings because we've got to go and we have to actually assign a team member. So even though I'm an admin for the whole agency, I have to go and assign a team member to be able to assign calendars basically. Um, so I'm going to just go and search myself. I'm going to go edit. And then we're going to go to roles and permissions. Then I'm going to click into the sub accounts and I'm going to go and find the sub account I'm working in. Cool, so that's there. I'm gonna press save. So a user has been updated. So what I'm gonna go and do now is I'm gonna go back to this sub account I was working in. Um, like this. And then I'm going to navigate to calendars, calendar settings, and then connections. Cool. So now we've got uh, the staff. So you can go see the staff that you've got there. Obviously, I've only got one team member in this account, which is me, the admin. Um, so I want to go and connect to calendars. So I want to go and add new. So I'm going to connect up my Google Calendar here. And this is going to do another uh, link thing. Just got to go and link your Google account again. Cool, continue, and then allow. And you can go and do the same with Calendly, iCloud, and Outlook here as well. So we've now got that, we've got these calendars. You can, you can go and select which calendar you want there. So I've got a few, um, but you can go um, and have that linked calendar. And then you can add additional calendars to, to be checked to prevent double bookings as well, in case you have two calendars. Um, so that's that. And advanced settings, you could do uh, one-way sync. Um, so you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, it's, up, it's up to you. Um, I normally would go with the recommended, uh, but you, you can read these for yourself and choose which, which one you want to do. Um, so now that's all linked up. And you can go to your calendars, and then you can go and edit calendar. And now you can go to connections, and this is where you go and connect your calendar. So then there's calendars here that you can go and select from, which is what we've basically done. I'm gonna press save. Um, and that's how you make sure you can connect your calendars now. Okay, hopefully that makes sense, guys. Thanks a lot for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for that, Graham. So one way we use calendars in our business is when we're doing database reactivation with AI and SMS. So we take clients' old leads and turn them into appointments for our clients' sales teams to close, okay? This works like game busters because we go after their old leads they've given up on. A lot of you might've heard me talk about this before. I've actually written a book on it. It's called The Instant AI Agency. 
there'll be a link below pick it up it's really easy and fun and, and fast to read you're going to enjoy it it's good stuff i'll speak to you soon